Not sure how to read the Panasonic grid eye values on your Campagno board? Well, in this episode of Tech Ventures with Lozina, I cover four different ways you can read the Panasonic grid eye sensor values on the Campagno board for thermal presence and motion detection. Hi, it's Lozina. You may remember that a few months ago I did a video on the Campagno board. If you're not sure what I'm talking about or you'd like a refresher, then please check out the link in the description box below. Today I'm going to speak to you about one specific sensor on the Campagno board, the Panasonic 8x8 Grid Eye Infrared Array Sensor. This sensor can be used to determine thermal presence, direction, and temperature values. Not only can the Grid Eye sensor be used for motion detection, but it can also detect stationary objects as well. There are four ways to read the sensor values, and I'm going to walk you through it today. Please connect the board to your laptop and ensure you have the correct bin file loaded. This is what the grid eye sensor looks like on the board. Connect the board to your laptop or PC and open a terminal program such as TerraTerm. Make sure you've selected the appropriate COM port, so it usually says something like ST-Link Virtual COM port. Um, next, you want to make sure you configure to the appropriate settings. So today we're going to use 115200 for the baud rate, 8 bit for data, none for parity, 1 bit for stop, and none for flow control. Hit reset on your board and you'll see a sign of life. You'll see that all the sensors on the board are recognized except for the particulate matter sensor, which is quite usual because I have not connected mine right now. So the first way to read the sensor values is to type in grid eye raw read. And this command will read raw data from the grid eye sensor. It shows the decimal value for each one of the 64 infrared cells. The second method is to read the data in Celsius. Type in grid i float read into the terminal. This command will read and convert to float the grid eye sensor. It shows the temperature of each one of the 64 cells. I don't know about you, but I would love to visualize this data. So the third way to read or see the data is to use the Panasonic grid eye evaluation software to see the real-time temperature at each point of the grid. Type in grid I software into the terminal and after executing this command, disconnect TerraTerm to run the grid I evaluation software from Panasonic. Make sure you're selecting the appropriate COM port like so and hit connect. And now you can see your data. Um, as you can see, I'm moving my hand, it's pretty hot. And when you're done, you can return to TerraTerm at any time by disconnecting from the Panasonic GridEye evaluation software and then reconnecting on TerraTerm and pressing the letters Q to exit the GridEye mode. And finally, if you want to view your grid eye sensor information on a dashboard and access it anytime from anywhere, then I recommend using Scripter. In order to enable the Campagno board to talk to the Scripter dashboard, we must send a few commands to open the bridge of communication. As you can tell, I'm using the Wi-Fi module today, but there is the option of using the cellular modem as well. I've set up the parameters to connect the Campagno board to my Wi-Fi router, and now I need to get the server authenticated and make sure I have the right time and date for the TLS, which is the postman command over here. And for the next step, we need to sign into our Scripter dashboard. So please sign in. And if you don't have an account, then it's time to create one. Once you're in, navigate to the settings. Um, that's found under the wrench icon right over here, select device directory, and copy the token for the STWIN Campagno board, like so. 
and then go back into the TerraTerm terminal. We're going to paste our token. Um, now, for me, what I would recommend actually is that you paste the token into a notepad or Word and then copy from there and paste it back into the terminal um, because sometimes it can get a little bit glitchy and um, the terminal doesn't always accept the full token. So this method works for me. And once you're done that, now we have to post our the sensor information to Scripter. So you're going to enter Wi-Fi dash Scripter dash post. And you can see your sensor information in the, ter in the terminal. So now we want to see it on the Scripter dashboard. And from the left hand side, select HVAC monitoring, select view. You'll be met with this page. Enter admin admin for both the username and password. You'll be met with a map. Click on the icon. This here is your sensor information, which corresponds to the values shown on TerraTerm. You can see that this is a representation of an HVAC system. We have a pressure, temperature, accelerometer, the particulate matter sensor, the carbon dioxide sensor. Now click on view dashboard. And here's an alternate view of your sensors in graphical format. So here is where the grid eye information is. And you'll see that the values correspond to the ones shown on the terminal. Right now I had my hand above the sensor and now I'm gonna flip flop a pen and you can see that the values have changed. I also want to mention that with the Scripter dashboard, you have the rule designer option to configure alerts and rules to notify personnel when a set threshold is exceeded. The grid eye sensor can do more than just read temperature values. It can pick up the direction of movement, up, down, left, right, and even diagonally. It can even detect multiple people or objects as they move in different directions. And the grid eye sensor can also people count. That's particularly helpful in today's world climate where we're trying to maintain social distancing. So this could benefit places of business or workplaces where they're trying to limit the number of people in each space. If you want to learn more about the Companion Board or Panasonic's Grid Eye Sensor, then please contact your local Future Electronics representative or visit us at futureelectronics.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Tech Ventures with Luzina.